Hello. The purpose of this video is to walk you through setting up Adobe Dreamweaver to access the back end of our W200 website. Now, I am doing this on a Mac, but you would do it the exact same way in a Windows, a PC version of Dreamweaver. So, it's really quick. Let's begin. So, I have Dreamweaver open, so you open it wherever and however you need to. And in the menu, even on your Windows version, there is a site option, and you choose New Site. So we will call this W200 website. I need to choose a folder, which would mean you can save it on your computer if you're doing it at your home PC or your laptop. This is the folder where all the files will be downloaded to and uploaded from. If you are using one of the computers in the TTL or another lab, those computers are regularly wiped, so you will not be able to save anything, so you may want to make this folder on an external hard drive or such. Or you could just temporarily download everything to a folder on one of those computers, upload everything when you are finished, and delete it off of one of the lab computers. But I am going to create a folder. You would do this how you would do on a PC. W200 website. Now I will, and I am doing this in Adobe CS5. It's a little different in Adobe CS4. So I go to servers. I add a new server. And I will again call this W200 website. We will connect using SFTP. The address is going to be webserve.iu.edu. The username is educ w200. I will not give the password aloud. Please ask Chip or Dr. Lefwich or Jesse or anyone else from the group about this password. I will test to make sure I typed in the correct one. It's connected successfully. Now the URL I will change to www.indiana edu slash tilde educ w200 and the root directory should be www now I will save make sure there's nothing else to click no I will save and now here on the right of my screen I have panel showing me my local files. I have nothing yet because I have not yet synchronized with the server. So I will synchronize entire site and well, we have nothing. So get newer files preview and what you will get is the program running for a while because now Dreamweaver has to determine which files to download. This will take a while. Once I hit OK, it will start transferring the files and it will show up in my files pane on the right. And it will look like this. And then you can just work with these files. Say you have week 10 and you have finished editing week 10, then you can choose the put option. And that it will transfer it to the site. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask, and I hope this helps. Thanks.